Cyclopax, fall back! Get to the tower! Cybertron has fallen. Get to the escape pods. There are other Autobots scattered across the galaxy. We must reach them if we hope to survive. Good luck, soldier. I'll buy you some time. We will fight on. Regroup, rebuild, and retake our home. But we must find refuge first. You will travel to Earth. Once we've gathered the others, we'll join you. You must protect the planet. If the Decepticons find it, then our people are truly finished. Stay safe, soldier. I am coming. I really need to ask you something important. About magic. Whoa, 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 wait. Lost theirs? As in no magic? Well, that changes things. Listen, I might have some information that could help, but first, you need to tell me about this. Yeah, I can be pretty sneaky when I want to be. So where did that come from? It was my father's. Why? That star. Right. Then why are you here? Yeah, in a wingbeam. Why does the kid selling drugs sound like he's black? Saying that. We have a black president. Why can't black people sell drugs? Remix, yo. Hey, I, uh, I just want to say sorry for earlier. I, I know things got a little out of hand. You know, it's pretty normal for me, but uh, I know you don't know me that well. So. You were going through some stuff, so it's okay. Like I said, I just, uh, I just want to say sorry. And, uh, and I did. So, all right. What did the Emperor want? <clears throat> oh, you know what? He couldn't see me. Couldn't see you? Why not? I don't know. Well, well, that's just rude. Well, he is the Emperor. I'm sure he's busy. No, 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 no. No, Emperor or no Emperor, it's called common courtesy. Honey? If that were me, I'd march right back there and demand to see him, and you know I would. Sweetie, sweetie, think of the baby. Pacha, I'm fine. This baby's not coming for a while, but... Even if it was, I'd give that guy a piece of my mind. That kind of behavior just, just... Uh, I gotta go wash something. I'm tired of politics. Let's get that punk! Blood so. No family. Maybe there was a girlfriend or someone he worked with at the coffee shop. The coffee shop. Why would someone who knows they have $21 million coming take a minimum wage job? Because he needed access to that building. Because that's where the money's hidden. All right, we gotta get there quick. Maybe we should take the chopper. <gasps> Here's that chopper. Deathblade! Sidewinder! It's go time! Roger that, wet blanket. No, from now on, call me... Velvet. I'm concerned that my presentation isn't uh, jazzy enough to compete with Jeffries. He's such a showman. I'm uh, thinking about augmenting the graphs with, um, color. Sir. I know I'm debasing myself. I've never been more proud of you for anything in your life. I mean, I've solved a lot of cases for you, and yet crime has continued. 
What did you say? Don't say it again. I said you two need a bone. How dare you, Detective Diaz? I am your superior officer! Bone! What happens in my bedroom, Detective, is none of your business. Bone! Don't ever speak to me like that again. up regular size man if we can do this you know go back in time why don't we just find baby downs you know and first of all that's horrible it's thanos and second <laughs> this is the part where you know spikes come out with skeletons on the end of them and everything what are you talking when about? you break into a place called the temple of the power stone there's gonna be a bunch of booby traps okay all right yeah. go ahead in order for this to work we have to be in the same place that the diary was broken margaret's house but first i want you both to know the diaries are a serious business because they contain secrets and secrets must be protected at all costs. Yeah, Skips, we know. Do you? Look, out of respect for Margaret's secrets, I'm going to help you guys. But you have to take it seriously and do exactly as I say. Yeah, Skips, we promise. Yeah, we promise. Well, you better, because secrets are a force to be reckoned with. built a lab in the barn trying to create a mutagenic medicine to heal leo and then there's me april o'neill i spend most of my time training with the turtles and writing in my ever-expanding journal i miss new york my sensei my dad hopefully leo will recover and we can all go home soon if there's even a home to go back to but life as master splinter would say must continue on a hundred years have passed and the fire nation is nearing victory in the war Two years ago, my father and the men of my tribe journeyed to the Earth Kingdom to help fight against the Fire Nation, leaving me and my brother to look after our tribe. Some people believe that the Avatar was never reborn into the Air Nomads and that the cycle is broken, but I haven't lost hope. I still believe that somehow, the Avatar will return to save the world. I tell you this as a friend and as the first love of my life. Your fiance is an ass hat. He's not an ass hat. Hey, watch your language, okay? Oh, what Anyone, language? Yeah. Give me a it's a hat. Uh, Dr. Pim? You don't need to raise your hand, Scott. Sorry, I just have one question. Who are you? Who is she? What the hell's going on? And can I go back to jail now? Correct! No, I didn't steal anything. I was returning something I stole. Everything that you know and love, gone forever. Cool. Yeah. If it ain't broke. Oh, you okay, Jack? This is awesome. It's awesome. You know, you guys are breaking down walls. You're healing. It's important. I ruined the moment, didn't I? All right, so, five years ago, right, right before Thanos, I was in a place called the Quantum Realm. And the Quantum Realm is like its own microscopic universe. To get in there, you have to be incredibly small. Hope, she's my, um, she, she was my, she was, she was supposed to pull me out. And then Thanos happened, and I got stuck in there. 
I'm sorry, that must have been a very long five years. Yeah, but that's just it. It wasn't. For me, it was five hours. See, so Back to the Future is a bunch of bullshit. as fuck by traditional standards but i get with women aren't you curious as to how that's possible i am not ugly as fuck i didn't say you were ugly as well fuck. you implied it okay okay it doesn't matter if you're ugly as fuck or you're ugly as shit it's about talking to women and i know how to do that because i observe because i am a novelist what you never told me that before that's because i'm not an arrogant prick andy It's the Iceman. Rex. Couldn't have won that fight without you. Oh, except we did. Still counts. Unbelievably awesome. And bored of this. Ah, because we almost missed all the explosions and the screaming and the chaos. Whew. Is this supposed to be doing that? Nations. Ah, uh, yeah, a few. First, why me? I mean, sure. I get that anyone would want to be me, but why specifically me? And second, why a kid version of me? That's just weird. All right, maybe I haven't been the best summer caretaker. But I swear, today we're gonna have some real family fun. Now, who wants to put on some blindfolds and get into my car? Wanna hear a joke? Here goes. My ex-wife still misses me, but her aim is getting better. Her aim is getting better. You see, it's, it's funny because marriage is terrible. It's, I can't find the remote and I refuse to stand up. Stay tuned. Friday night movie, The Duchess Approved, starring Sterling Stemple Burgess as The Duchess and Grafton St. Rupter Frabble as the irascible Coxswain, Sauterblug, and Hampton Fumpenshire. Kids! No! No! Yes! yes! In your face, Elizabeth! <laughs> it's just like my life! In a way. Ah, the wedding. I've waited so long for this. Oh, look at her in that dress. Count Lionel? What's he doing here? I've come to reclaim my bride. You had your chance at the cotillion, you! You had your chance at the cotillion, you! That's what I'm saying! And smell all the fresh meat. <coughs> please have what you close. Please have what you close. Please have what you close. Yes, 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 yes. Ah! Good morning, terrifying fantasy world. Are they bothering uh, you again? Oh, no. I just came here to see you, and uh, here you are. <laughs> Whoa. It's like I have snakes for arms. Focus. Focus? On what? On how you'll be stuck in the baby class. No! Don't think like that. Face it. You'll never get a second spell following Ida's lessons. Silence, hand! Call me a library book, because they were checking me out. There seems to be no sign of intelligent life anywhere. Who are you talking to? Uh, no one. You were narrating again. I was not. How long have you known that I narrate? Forever. Speaking of, you forgot to take the rookie with you. Ah, uh, Commander Hawthorne, you know how I feel about rookies. 
They're the same way I feel about autopilots. How may I assist you? Is there anything I can do, sir? They don't help. They just overcomplicate things. I'm better off just doing the job myself. No. Buzz, protocol requires we bring him along. He's going to have sad eyes. Buzz. You know I can't deal with sad eyes. Look at the rookie, Buzz. Nope. Look at the rookie. Look. No, no. Lightyear. Nope. Look at him. Not looking. Look, look, nope. look, look, no, look, no, look, no, look no, 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 no. Look at the rookie. <sighs> all right. This suit is a promise to the world that you and you alone will do one thing above all. Finish the mission, no matter the cost. You will never quit. Whatever the galaxy may throw your way, will you please turn that off? <laughs> If he's a planet, how could he make a baby with your mother? He would smush her. That's on you. Why would I put my finger on his throat? Stay here yammering and relieve us from this hurts we can find him. Yeah, I'll have to agree with the walking thesaurus on that one. Do not ever call me a thesaurus. Metaphors are going to go over his head. Nothing goes over my head. My reflexes are too fast. I would catch it. I have sensitive nipples. You just need to find a woman who is pathetic. Like you. Rocket stole some of their batteries. Dude! Right. He didn't steal some of those. I don't know why they're after us. What a mystery this is. What are they called again? Annulax batteries. Arbulary batteries. I have famously huge turds. <laughs> yes! One might assume she was dead. That does sound pretty hot. It would make my nether regions and gore. Oh. We leave no one behind, except maybe you. <laughs> that was awesome! <laughs> that is called a practical joke. that I could meet you under better circumstances, Optimus Prime. But I fear that Iacon will not withstand the next Decepticon assault. So you speak to me from across the ages. If you are listening to this message, then I take solace that you now possess the Star Saber. I am certain that you have deduced how these Cybertronian relics and Decepticon weapons came to be found on such a remote world. Indeed, I transported them there, not so much to keep them far from Megatron's hands, but to ensure that they reach yours. As you may have long suspected, the Covenant of Primus records events of the future as well as the past. My imperfect understanding of its runes affords me a shadowy glimpse of what is to come. The Covenant's pages foretold that you, Optimus Prime, would journey to the small but significant planet and there engage in a crucial chapter in the war against the Decepticons. I know neither the nature of the battle, nor its outcome. I only hope that these relics of the ancients will aid the Autobots in your time of need. Of utmost importance, in a few moments, I will launch the last of the relics. The most significant and powerful of them all. I saw it. You let the talisman get away. We must have it. Without the talisman, we cannot find the staff. No, you human. I want my crew. Turn that up the flag when you're drawn. What anyone wants, human, to go home today. We hunt. The end is near, my old. Treacherous friend. Oh, she's 
common. What a shame. You'll be unable to see it. Help! This planet is hell. I knew you couldn't do it. Your time is over, Prime. You failed. You turned your back on Cybertron. Now you will watch Earth die. your very spark chamber but it cannot restore your mind the decepticons need a leader not a decorative centerpiece and i will convince them that i am the true heir to your throne such a shame but i applaud you megatron you certainly made a grand exit the loss of megatron Leader of the great Decepticon uprising is certainly a blow to our cause. Yet we mustn't despair over his tragic demise, but instead embrace his ultimate sacrifice and build upon the foundation he laid with an even mightier hand. Allow me to be crystal clear. I studied for millennia under our former master. Thus I am equipped to lead you. I, Megatron's true heir, Lord Starscream, Emperor of Destruction. You just saved me a lot of trouble coming here, Batman. I'm gonna kill you. Then I'm gonna jumpstart your heart and kill you again. Are you ready? Black Mask must be out of his mind to put up 50 million for your head. Just think of me as a bat sapper. Now, come to the light. This fight will be two hits. Me hitting you, and you hitting 50,000 volts. <laughs> Decepticons, attack, ravage, eject. Please repeat, attack, red laser beam. Decepticons, superior, Autobots, inferior. Seriously, what would you do as leader that would be any better than Megatron? We don't need no stinking permit. Look, it's Optimus Prime. Magic, was it? 
What a shame. Out of all the Grim Walkers, you look the most like him. Not expecting him to last longer than the others. I'm going to tell everyone about the Day of Unity. That you've been lying about the Titan for years. Yes, this has gone on longer than I'd have liked, but no one ever said being a witch hunter was easy. Have you as my right hand? I'd sooner cut off my whole arm. never an option for me. At least with the Brotherhood of Evil, I can be somebody. I'll get respect. No who you are. Nobody messes with me. to the demon has left hollow. Stand before me. Nice of you to drop in. You just can't get it through your thick scalp. Newsflash, I'm the one who's trying to kill you by... I think he's talking to you. Technically, it's my operation now. Just where do you think you're going? Ah! You can't even escape into madness. Shut the hell up and kill the bad man! Now you this will be what I call a party! Now that's not funny. We'll fly together like two little potato lanterns. I understand. We both exist because of them! Have you ever had... Step aside. 
give me your son. When Ellen died, I lost everything. Until that dog arrived on my doorstep. A final gift for my wife. In that moment, I received some semblance of hope. An opportunity to grieve on the law. And your son took that from me. Look, stole that from me. Killed that from me! People keep asking if I'm back. And I haven't really had an answer. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. You can either hand over your yeah. son, or you can die screaming alongside him! And there you have it, folks. My uh, my first video to start off 2023. And um, in case anyone is asking, how how do I know there's going to be a third movie in the night first? In night first, if I haven't even seen Rise of the Beast, well, I'm hoping I'm hoping there will be a be a sequel to sequel to Bumblebee and the Rise of the Beast, since you know this is this is a reboot to the to the Michael Bay Bay first, and it's not connected to any of them. So I'm hoping I'm right. And and Tra Mr. Travis Knight, if it if if you are hearing and watching this, pl please, uh, I please I hope I hope you use use my voice cast ideas for your for your sequel in case in case the Rise of the Beast goes goes really well. Please use my, please use one of my ideas. And in case you're wondering, haven't I used most of the voice cast in my Transformers Legend Saga videos? Yes, I have, but I'm but I'm hoping but I'm hope but I'm hoping again if Paramount and Travis Knight would use one of my voice cast ideas for for its sequel in case the Rise of the Beast goes well. And um and I'm looking forward to seeing Rise of the Beast when it comes comes out this year. I think it was supposed to be it, supposed to be in theaters in at, in June. So looking forward to it. In case anyone's wondering, what will be the third movie about? Well, I would say in in case the in case the Rise of the Beast movie goes well, I'm I'm predicting that. Primal and, and his Maximals will go back to their original timeline where the Autobots gather the Autobots will travel back to Cybertron to fight back the Decepticons. And and Optimus Bumblebee are and RC and Mirage found the sur surviving Autobots. And you in case anyone's asking, what about Wheeljack? And if I have to guess Wheeljack will probably die in the Rise of the Beast movie, cause just a hunch, cause of the whole whole face incident. I mean, I mean, why why has anyone thought about changing his face? I mean, the Bumblebee movies Wheeljack was perfect, really, really inspirational to G One. I mean, who was whose idea was it anyway? Any anywho. Once Optimus, Optimus and the others reunite with the other Autobots, including Ultra Magnus, Moon Racer, Ratchet, Brawn, Red Alert, Cup, and Hot Rod, and many other Autobots, they form a plan to take back the Decepticons. And meanwhile, on Cybertron, Megatron is forming a plan to destroy the Autobots once and for all by use, using an artifact called the Alt Spark, 
and where the and where the Autobots tries tries to try to get to the all all spark first away from Megatron's evil evil clutches. And there will be some moments where we'll see some flashbacks about Optimus and Megatron's young or origin story in their younger years. And uh, in the end of the movie, we'll see a huge climax where we see Unicron, Unicron from the future, including including Galvatron and Cyclonus, and where Optimus tries to stop Unicron, but Megatron stabs Optimus in the back, and Unicron corrupts Optimus Prime into Nemesis Prime, and that's where we end, end the movie. In which they'll lead to us, lead lead to a fourth movie, and uh, that's all I got to say. And uh, can't wait, can't wait to see what twenty twenty three will be like this, be like this year. And um, and I'll make more videos and make more review videos of Transformers Prime, but I'll also might review Batman the Animated Series. Avatar The Last Airbender, Ruby, Owl House, Amphibia, Gravity, Gravity Falls, whenever I feel like it. And and I might can still make continue making tributes tributes to one of my favorite characters. And I might do a jazz or shockwave or starscream. In case anyone wondering, haven't I done Starscream? And to answer your question, yes I have, but I deleted it due to Due to um, Starscream's appearance in Transformers Earth Spark, so can't. So I'm hoping to make a sec another tribute to Starscream, including at having Earth Spark Starscream in it. And uh, that's all I got to say. What are your thoughts on my fan made voice voice cast for Transformers for the Transformers Night First Third movie? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on YouTube, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!